Welcome to the Rusty Hook Kayak Fishing Podcast. A member of the Paddle and Fin Podcast Network. We're streaming live via Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Bring you the latest in fishing tips, gear reviews with our friend from Payne Outdoors, Chris Payne, as well as some local and regional tournament news. We'll bring you on some special guests to talk kayak fishing. Now, let's join John Rapp, your host. Hey guys, welcome to episode 41 of the Rusty Hook Kayak Fishing Podcast. I'm John Rapp, the host. Uh, I am sitting here at my favorite location. I'm here at the Brownstone Room. Um, Steve and Mary are gracious enough to let me come over and utilize their banquet room. Hey Heath Mullins, thanks for joining in brother. Uh, make sure you set up your camera, get comfortable. I may give you a buzz here shortly. But uh, I'm here at the tractor bar again, and I, I've been up this way now uh, at least the last seven, eight, maybe nine episodes. Uh, it's been a great environment. Uh, everything works well here, and it's real close to the house, so I enjoy being here. Um, but uh, if you get the opportunity, like Keith did, comment like share and follow the the uh the uh, event the show so um i'm getting uh, info from blaine um, i sent him a message here trying to get the latest scoop on uh what's going on but uh with with his angle of the year awards jason Plummy down in southern west virginia hasn't released those that data yet and he's holding it until the angle the, the, their awards banquet so I suspect that we will see or hear from Blaine in the near future Johnny Cart jump on the couch I may give you a call here shortly um, I'm running solo tonight guys I didn't call anybody didn't bother anybody didn't even try to uh, get guys signed up and registered for the show tonight um, it's been a little hectic at the workplace, but uh, and uh, trying to get everything ready, but I, I think I got it. Um, little announcements, guys. Um, all you guys, I would love, love for you to send me a message and say, "Hey, John, I want to get involved with the stream scream o ween edition in two weeks." Um, so if you got a costume, or if you download Snapchat on your computer and use a Snapchat filter. Cover your face up with a with a mask of any type. You know, it's easy to do. Like here, I'll show you. Um, you see me here, but then I'm going to go with uh, my old man face. Okay, that's the old man face. Here's the pirate one. That's the one I'll probably be in a couple weeks. And then there's I call that dude. You know, that's my dude face. You know. You know, gnarly dude, you know, surfer, fisherman. Uh, and then, then um, got the beard, you know. I'm working on that, you know. I should have something like this real close and similar here in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to grow it out until the first of the year. It's Christmas time, so. But anyway, um, that's how that works. Let me get back. Well, I don't know what I did here. Let me see. i got to get off these. Dude, there we go, back to normal. But uh, yeah, I would love, I, I've already got uh, Randy Newton, possibly, and some other names that I will not call out that said they will come and join, but you won't know who they are because they'll be filtered up, masked up, costumed up. And we're going to talk about trick or treating, fishing, uh, the tricks of the trade, things of that nature. And then once somebody talks about what they do and how they do and where they fish at, well, I'll try to figure out who they are. You know, just, just fun, just to have a good time. We don't have to be serious all the time, guys. We can have fun. Let's have some fun. Um, it's been a long fishing season. So, with that note, I wanted to talk about, I've been sitting down writing up my end-of-year assessments uh, because I, I want to send, or I am on the 
competitive fishing team with Feel Free. I'm also on the uh, pro team fishing team with Yak Gadget. So I want to send them a little bit of information on what I did right, what I did wrong, where I finished, how their products performed, um, and just do a, a you know a, a recoup. You know, I guess in, in the military terms, you could call it an after-action review for not just a battle, but for the whole season, the war or whatever. So I'm, I'm writing that up, and uh, while I was doing that, I, I made a few notes um, looking at my stats for this year. And I, you know, I look for, and guys, um, I want your feedback. I want to know where uh, you guys found your strengths and where you found your weaknesses or and maybe I can learn from you. Um, we all know in fishing, we learn from each other. You know, there's a wheel, right? You don't need to recreate it. So don't recreate it. Learn from somebody else. The rod stagers and junk doors play big for me. Is that for uh, Yak Gadget Blaine? Uh, that's good info. I, I've got. I don't have. I have their junk drawer, but it's it's a pain in the rear end in my the way I have my Moken set up right now. I can't I can't put it all the way back, but uh, I do have about four other products that I use on my boat. I got the my NK180 backboard. Uh, I got the side rail. I've got a cup holder. I've got their phone holder. Um, yeah, I've, I've got four or five. A well, good deal, Blaine. Thanks, buddy. And, uh, you know, I'm still waiting to hear that, the good good news. Well, looking forward to hearing Jason's announcement on, on you winning. We know you did. But, okay, so let me let me pull up a screen here. I, think, I hope I got it the right one. There we go. So, guys, if y'all use Tourney X, uh, Dwayne Wally about five years ago created a, a, pro, a, a feature on his program. I highly recommend it, especially if you're a competitive fisherman. And a lot of the guys I know that watch this show, like Blaine, John, Heath, Heath's get, gotten into it here pretty hard past couple of years. But I know Blaine and Johnny, they've been in it for the last seven, eight years. And you're going to have a resume built. And, you know, it, it, this, this program builds everything for you. So you can see my 2022 year. I only had 40 fish. I had a one first place finish, and that was an online event with Paddle and Fan. I had uh, top ten finishes. I had five. I only fished 11 events this year, so I, I'm pretty proud of that. Um, but when I sat down, looked at everything, you could see um, where I started falling apart. And I don't know, guys, if it has something to do with where I'm 56 years old, work full time, and, and try to uh, make time to do these. If age is, is an issue, if I'm not getting enough sleep, rest, if I'm not preparing properly, but uh, I can tell you um, in April, April, hey Greg, that's my boy Greg. Greg's got, we got some announcements. Greg's gonna be putting out soon. You guys are gonna love it. So make sure you're following Greg and the WVKA page. Um, but, uh, and Greg was part of this, uh, that I'm referring to is uh, I started my season in April and uh, I went to the Paddle and Finn two day tournament down in Del Hollow. And guys, that's coming up in April. You need to put your vacation in now for a whole week for the, the weekend of the 22nd, 23rd. So, go, so you might want to take off like the 18th through the 24th. Um, the houseboats that we stay on are $50 a night. You can you sleep great. You got electricity to charge your batteries. Um, you're, you can dock your boat right on the water if you don't want to drive around the lake. You can fish right there at, at the Eastport Marina and go to around there and fish. Plenty of places to go to. Um, but uh, I'm telling you right now, that paddle and fin tournament is a great time. Greg Kupfner, if you're on here, he can second that. We had a blast for the whole week we were down there. And I, Blaine... Johnny, uh, John, you, bring, you and uh, Melissa need to come down. But, you know, John Abshire went. 
Brandon Honecker went. Um, me and Gillespie, Greg and Phil, we all had a, a just an absolute blast. Had a good time. So um, you get to meet a lot of good people that you talk to all the time uh, in on Facebook in the industry from Ohio, Illinois. The Paddle and Finn guys, Brian Schiller, his group, they're based out of Illinois. Um, but these guys got relationships all over the nation, and they develop a lot of relationships. He has 11 guys, including me now, that do a, a podcast and upload it to their platform every day. Uh, Brian Hustles. That's one of the guys, reasons why um, it, it is a a must thing to do and and John I'm telling you uh, we all know the world record smallmouth come from Dale Hollow but as Greg can attest to um, the spots down there are wicked they will they will smack everything in sight on the Eastport Marina area um, Johnny Abshire who finished really well he 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 was in the smallmouth up in the river so it's a good time, and I highly recommend it. For the money, you can't beat it um, because you're. It's fifty dollars a night. You're right on the water, um, and I'm telling you, yeah, I didn't catch a smallmouth either, Greg. So, but going through my resume and talking and doing my evaluation, I had a good tournament down there. And when I, I sit down and I think about that, it was my preparation. I prefished. I was down there the week. I had everything that I could think of in my truck that I, I packed up. And I packed up and I organized so when I went down there, I would have everything where I could find it quickly. Um, so, you know, I had a, a, a Bixby. Let's see, what was I using Bixby? I was using my Bixby uh, motor drive. And, yes, yeah, good. Greg Kupfner, I love you, brother, because you, you point out the obvious when it comes to old John Rapp. It was the moonshine. Because, um, you know, I, I tell everybody, it's my secret when I go to places like that. And I, I, I failed to do that. My West Virginia kayak angler family knows me well enough that prior to tournament night, they stay away from me because they know I'm trying to sabotage them. So when they're out on the water, they can't concentrate, they can't fish well, and it's the moonshine. Uh, but the guys down They'll haul out all them Illinois, Ohio, and Tennessee guys. They haven't learned that lesson from me yet. And uh, I think uh, Greg can tell you and Phil, um, Jeffrey Parrott, uh, a Tennessee boy, will never forget us. So, um, But, yeah, so then, uh, so I finished seventh out of that, out of, uh, let's see, there were, Oh, well, anyway, we'll go back over here and I'll show you guys. You know, you can go down and look at your your best personal best fish. You can you can customize it with your boats and your photo. But uh, and then there's your all-time history. So I've, on Tourney X, I've fished almost 140 tournaments and uh, my team tournaments that we've ran. And then right here, it, it'll it'll go from the last tournament and your rankings. So the paddle of Del Hollow, I was seventh out of 43. It's the bottom of the bottom line there, and then uh, we came home, and we did our Stonewall tournament, and everybody remembers how nasty the weather was at Stonewall. Um, but I was able to get enough fish there, uh, and I caught a, my biggest smallmouth of the year, um, an 18.5 fat smallie over at Stone Cold. Again. Um, Preparation was probably the key there, but I did fail to fail because when I came back from Del Hollow, I unpacked my truck, but everything was still in the container, so it was pretty well organized. But when I went up to Stonewall, I forgot my kill switch um, for my Bixby. So I, I scrambled, went to Walmart, and I found little battery, little magnets. I bought every magnet I could find in there, took them out, and I kept playing with them, and I got one to work. Was able to get my motor drive and get out and fish, but it, it fell off the, 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 the magnet, fell off my motor on the way back, so I had to paddle uh, from where I was at 
that's when I saw Storm Carver and Mikey Holcomb. Uh, they were they were uh, using their high speed, high dollar Hobies and motors to uh, bust back to the to the bank. And uh, luckily for me, when I was following Storm in, um, he fished a tree line, and uh, he he jumped out of there real quick. And after he cast in there, and then I, I followed him in, and threw in a, a TRD and caught my, a largemouth in there that probably saved my tournament. Um, then the, I only did two on lines with WVK this year, so I, Greg, I failed you there, buddy, and that was April and May. Um, I thought I did more than that, but apparently I didn't. But I only did four on lines the whole year. I did a PNF in May and a WVK in May, and I did the, uh, the Feel Free Summer Slam, and then the, I did one more. Uh, who was that? Oh, the the socks and cookies event. And I didn't even fish that. I just signed up for it because I wanted to, as you guys know, and how we just did an episode with uh, Shannon Modisette, um I, I wanted to contribute to the cause. Um, so, uh, so those were the only on lines. And uh, let's see, I finished ninth out of seventy-one for the May online. Um, let's see over here. April online was 20th out of 39. In the Paddle and Finn tournament, I actually won it. So that was my one victory of the year. Um, I had no intentions of winning it. I just signed up for it uh, to, to, to add to the pot. Um, you know, Paddle and Finn new tournaments are uh, they're, they're only I think five or ten dollar buy-in um, they're designed to get people into the sport and uh, but we uh, did a Lake Erie trip and I went with Greg my buddy Greg Kupfner, uh Buddy Vance we all know how Buddy what is uh, Buddy Vance and he, he is one hell of a fisherman and it, it, again uh, he Finished second for the West Virginia Kayak Anglers Angler of the Year tournament uh, or season. Um, uh, he has done that more than once. I think he also finished second in 2019. He's always in the top five or ten of, of the WVK uh, fishing uh, peeps. Um, so, but he had we had a great time. They set up a house, so, so that that's so basically. You know, part of this episode, what this is all about is I'm planning for 2023. I'm evaluating what I did, writing everything down, and then I'm going to talk about what I'm, what I'm wanting to do for 2023. Um, looking forward to 2023, I'm going back to uh, Del Hollow, and I'm going back to uh, Lake Erie, and if all goes well, I will have a lot of time on my hands to go to Lake Erie, and spend a lot of time up there. Uh, and I'm gonna drag my camper. So um, when we do go up and get the house with Greg and him, hopefully I'll be up there a little bit of time before that with my camper, get some fishing in, and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, but Greg, I'm in, you know, looking forward to it. Guys, uh, Lake Erie during May, when the, the, those smallmouth, the big smallmouth are moving in to spawn, it is an absolutely fantastic time to be there. Now, granted, um, we had we didn't have the best weather, but we didn't have bad weather. Um, it wasn't uh, earth-shattering winds, rains, or nothing like that. So we got lucky in Del Hollow and up in Erie in April and May. So my June June was when it started falling apart for me. Um, you can see over to the right. I uh, I started uh, my I was let's see the Elk River opened well it flooded so we were on Sutton and uh, you know that we interviewed Mark Edwards on the show at that time for his win there and how he was throwing a spinner bait up where the river fills starts into the lake there uh, I can't think of that campground up there but uh, he was up there. I fished it around the marina, and uh, I ended up leaving uh, by the dam where I put in, probably around 11, 11.30. Uh, 
you know, those storms that caused all that rain that knocked out my power. And uh, I started thinking about everything and was worried about stuff in my freezer. And Baker John, thanks, buddy. Thanks, Johnny. And so I left. And uh, I left early and only had uh, three fish I think I put on the board. So or my, I don't even know if I uploaded them. I caught three. I might not even upload them. But uh, that's why I finished so poorly there. Um, Summer Slam. Then um, July. July. Man, dude, July was a great month. Put uh, 11 days on the road. Fished Tennessee, Alabama, Florida, West Virginia, of course. Um, packed up the truck. Went down to Knoxville. Spent some time with my boy Jay Randall. Going to see you this Saturday, Jay, or Sunday. Going down to uh, Tennessee this weekend. Go see the some sites at Dollywood and Gatlinburg with Beffy. And I'm going to see Jay. Might see Rod Snyder but, uh, from Frontier Outdoors. Good friends there. But uh, <clears throat> we stayed, I stayed at Jay's. I met Brian. Then we went to Alabama. We picked up uh, Jimmy. And then the next 14 hours we drove from Huntsville to Felsmere. Fished all that next day, and I didn't catch a fish. <laughs> it was awful. We got off the water probably about 2.33, the huge Florida thunderstorm with lightning uh, was, was blowing at us, and we all got off the water as fast as we could. We made it to the ramp in time, but I got some video of Jimmy and uh, of me and, and Brian fishing. Brian found a little school of fish that we were able to, to hit, and I realized, man, that's that's a whole different type of fishing. These dudes were using Senkos the size of my finger. Okay. Hey, Tommy. Uh, and uh, thanks for jumping in here with me, Big Daddy. But they were using you know, big old Senkos, uh, like a five-odd hook. And I'm over there using a three-odd hook with just a regular old Senko. I was throwing a square bill, throwing a topwater, wasn't having any luck. Uh, dragging a lizard but uh, I still enjoyed it but as soon as we got off the water we packed up and then we drove from Felsmere over to Crystal River which was about a four hour drive five hour drive because uh, we were about two hours south of Orlando and then we had to go northeast or northwest of Orlando to Crystal River we got to our room over there and then the next day again uh, stormy weather here and there, but we chartered a uh, with Captain um, Joe. I'm, I'm drawing a blank on her name, uh, um, but let me see. I'll look it up here. Katie Joe? Yeah, I think it's Katie Joe. Yeah, Katie Joe. It, it's Katie Joe, and. Uh, she took us out on the water. We had a great time. We caught a bunch of fish, a bunch of video. I mean, had a blast. Um, while other uh, captains were dragging their people in because of the thunderstorms at 8, 30, 9 o'clock, and when we got there, we were going out on the water about 7. Um, we went out. She saw the storms coming in. She was watching the radar. She's like, God, oh, she didn't like it. We ran back to the dock. She tied up. We sat in the truck for about 30 minutes. It blew through while everybody else is packing their stuff up and leaving. We were waiting for it to blow out. We went out and fished. Had a great time. Got caught in a couple little storms. And she was able to run around them and uh, move around them in her quick little boat. And we had, but we had a great time. So, if you're looking for something, uh, watch for look for Katie Joe. She's uh, on my Facebook page. I'll leave a link for you guys if you're looking to do something down that way. Um, then it was iCast and. Uh, I had a blast at ICAST. I got to see everybody. The, you know, we have such a great uh, group of people in the kayak fishing world. Um, I am blessed that I got into this sport eight years ago. And uh, uh, as you can see with my resume, I've fished a hell of a lot of tournaments. Um, uh, and, you know, the tournament scene was huge for me. 
in uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, probably started dying off around 1920. Uh, then when I passed WK to Greg, uh, um, um, I, and as you can tell from the amount of events this year, I'm really, when I sat down and looked at this, I was really shocked how I only did 11 tournaments. But, you know, didn't do anything in July because I traveled. Um, but, you know, I, 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 I want to, I think that's probably how I want to do things in the future. I fish WVK when I can go to their events, and I, I, I will do more of the online. And if I am, well, I'll just say fully retired and not working next year, I'll have more time to do things and uh, help Greg when Greg needs help, um, uh, help the paddle and fin boys, um, and get out on the water. Um, do you know? I'm going to do those honeydew things that I've been putting off. I'm going to redo my basement. I'm going to do something. Hopefully, in the next year, I have uh, Elon Musk's SpaceX technology where I can get internet at the house, and I don't have to come up here and uh, bother these guys here at the tractor bar and take up space. You know, I'm using a hotspot, and that's how I'm doing this. Obviously, it works great. So. But yeah, 2022, it wasn't my best year. So, let's take a quick break, and then I'm going to call some folks. I'm going to get some thoughts on what they thought of their 2022 season and uh, where they felt like they succeeded, where they failed, and what they're looking forward to in 2023. If you're online, I may buzz you up. So, man, sit down, get relaxed, and I hope you'll answer the, the messenger. Yak Gadget, proudly supplying you with American-made products and gear. Check out yakgadget.com. Ace Resort, West Virginia's number one destination for whitewater, hiking, zip lining, and more. Check out acerap.com. That's Brook Supply Company, Georgia's number one go-to kayak fishing supply store. Gear, accessories, and custom rigging. Look them up, westbrooksupplyco.com. Kane Outdoors, a custom plastic maker, design consultant, product reviewer, and outdoor writer. Check out more at PaneOutdoors.com. Feel free kayaks. Paddle, pedal, or power. There's something for everyone. Check out FeelFreeUS.com. Oh, we're back. Caught me getting me some refreshments because, man, I don't think I've ever talked so much. And that's one of the things... I've always promised you is that I'm not a talker. I don't want to talk. I want to hear from you, and we discuss things. So it's that time. All right. First crank call of the night. Let's see if they'll pick up. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, John. Oh, let me get to the right screen. There we go. Guys and gals, welcome to uh, the Rusty Hook Kayak Fishing Podcast. This is our good friend, Jonathan Carp, Charleston, West Virginia. John, you've been in the sport for a while, brother. You fish to all the clubs. You fish a lot. You've had a hell of a, yep. you know, you had us, you scared us at the beginning of the year. Um, you had some issues, but you've conquered those, and then you come out. And you stormed WVKA here for, I, I want to say, probably your best finish ever, is it? It is. Well, outstanding. You finished, what, fifth? Off of the season, no, 11th. 11th, okay. Okay. Yep. I, I was thinking it was higher than that. But, uh, so, Johnny, tell us, uh, you know, like you, you've been watching the show and you hear me rambling um, about your, your season, uh, your tournaments, you know, how, when you sit and reflect on it, where you succeeded, where you failed, where you can do better, and what you plan on doing for 2023. Well, 2023 just going to be more than what I did this year. This year was, I was fortunate enough to be on the water, so I made it about being on the water. Yes, definitely. And we, need but, you, we needed you out there, buddy. Yep, but... Uh, my biggest thing this year, I've had three tournaments that I've missed being in the top ten by one fish. And I've missed all those fish at the boat, so it's 
that hurts. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, say that in for 2023, your top priority is to fish clean. Yes. Okay. I can understand that because um, that was, you know, why I did so terrible in Jackson County on day one. I came in with four fish. I should have had five, and actually, of the four fish, I had one disqualified because a seasoned angler like me should not be making finger placement mistakes in a photo. Um, <laughs> because or in there. Yeah, I mean, you know, I had him laying on the board between my legs, and he was a 12-inch fish. He didn't want to cooperate. Had 30 minutes left in the tournament, and as he was flip flopping, I had my camera up, and I just stuck my hand down there and I grabbed him. You know how you pull them up and get their mouth closed, and then I just ran my fingers down his body, and I snap, snap the picture pictures. Well, both of my 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 index finger was in that no man zone, mm -hmm. and so I I knew Blaine was I think he was one of our judges. He uh, I knew he was going to DQ it, um, and he did. So and then I had a 16 inch um, on my board, and I'm. Long ways again, I, I have a unibar that I put on my boat where right. I put my cameras and stuff and my water drinks and all everything. And as I lifted my picture, the camera up to take the picture, the fish, uh, the tail was underneath the bar, so I couldn't get the angle to get a good picture to get that 16 mark. So I lifted my leg up, put my camera down, and all that at the same time, that fish boom, boom, out into the water. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. That did not just happen. And then I lost a couple of nice fish getting them to the boat, trying to net them. Um, so it was just one of those days. Um, Jackson County, I catch fish there all year long. When it comes to tournament time, I bomb every time. I so, couldn't find a fish to save my life. So, brother, so we're looking at in 2023, you're looking to fish clean, fish clean. Uh, what else? Yep. Uh, and, and fish more. Uh, yep. God willing, you're able to. We're all able to. Uh, what else are you looking at? Hey, and and I, you saw, uh, and, I, and you you hit it. You posted. You know, you typed. It. Dale Hollow is on my bucket list. I'm telling it is. you, I'm telling you, brother, right now. I'm telling you, you and Melissa need to say, okay, vacation here, April this this week. We are going to Dale Hollow, and I right. I guarantee you. You'll have a good time. Um, the the houseboats are right on the water. Um, it's a big houseboat, nice little room. Uh, both of you guys can sleep in. Uh, out on the deck, you can leave your stuff out and charge your batteries, uh, or you can charge them in the in the main living room. Um, only about a hundred foot walk is the restaurant and and the bait shop, you know, the gear shop. Um, um, it's well, just, I plan I planned on it this year, but we wound up buying the house. We moved in here in April, that's so right. that kind of. That's right. That's right. Um, so yeah, guys, you guys, uh, mark that mark your calendars. All you get WVK guys, West Virginia peeps, you need to mark your calendars for that. You have a good time. And I mean, it, it is a two-day tournament, and you can treat it as a tournament, or you can treat it as a vacation. I always treat it as a vacation. I go down and fish all week, and you know if I, I do well in the tournament, it's a plus. If I don't, I don't care. And I've, I've, I think that may be part of my problem, Johnny, um, for this past year was I went to the tournaments and my goal was and I didn't care. I didn't care how I finished. My main goal was to see people like you and uh, talk to people, socialize, and just, just have a good time. Uh, well, that, that's me. I just showed up the fish this time. Yeah. This well, year. And we fished the Southern tournament the weekend before. I'd got my five. Melissa was struggling to get her last fish, and I pushed her for the last hour and a half. I just sat back and rode around and said, go get them. Amen. It's the fifth fish. She and she Was she female angler for the tournament? Or yeah. Really, that's what I thought. Yeah, she actually, um, she really has come along the last several years because I, I can remember at Summersville that one year you were up there and you brought her up, and I'm like, Oh, you need to sign up fish. We got a lot of women. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Now you can't keep her off the water. She's out there with everybody. Hammer. No. No. If I'm telling her I'm going, she's there. Yeah, I love it. I love it, man. You know, 
she's working. She's not happy that I'm going without her. So, <laughs> yeah, she, she got three uh, top females this year, so she's happy. Well, that's outstanding. Outstanding. Yep. Hey, Michael, hang tight, Big Daddy. I'm going to give you a buzz here when me and Johnny are done. So, um, yeah, man. So, 2023, fish clean, fish more. Yep. Uh, I know you got a new rig, so I guess yep. you're going to be uh, working on your new rig over the winter, uh, getting it ready to be top notch for next year. Um, Just got the new Yak Attack uh, box in. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, which which size did you get? I got the 16 by 16 in the uh, in the green. Oh look there. Okay, so. I tell you what, um, you, you're going to be with the next victim here later in a couple of months when we start going uh, uh, garage, because I see you have a well-organized garage with all your fishing equipment. You and Mikey Holcomb and all them guys. It's, right now it's trashed. <laughs> <laughs> so is mine, brother. So is mine. Okay, man. Um, hey, appreciate you jumping on. Yeah, man. Nothing but love for you, Melissa, and uh, I look forward to talking to you, seeing you more, and fishing with you all next year. Yep, we'll be there. All right, brother. All right, later. All right, so hey, that was my boy Johnny Cart. He's the total package. I appreciate you and being a good sport, jumping on with us. Um, speaking of another good sport, got to spend some time with him up at the Jackson County this weekend. Not a whole lot of time, um, but talking about a good looking boy he's got uh, he's a 16 year old boy but he's a good looking he's gonna be a good looking young man and uh, let's see if I can find Mikey Michael I'm trying to find you brother There you are. Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys, crank call number two. Call him another WVKA angler. There he is. There he is. How are you, buddy? Hey, man, switch your, slide your, uh, your phone to the landscape for me. There we go. What do you need, oh, oh, there we go. Now we get to see all of you there now. There all, you go. All that beautiful man, fisherman right there. <laughs> it's been a day. Getting Yo, ready for the Susquehanna. Oh, man. Tell us about that. So that, that's what this... this uh, so the native uh, Big Bass Power Hour on the Susquehanna this weekend. Going to head up there Friday afternoon. Uh, just take a look at it. It's always been on my dream to fish. and uh, It's a good time of the year, I think, to hit it. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to go up? I think uh, we've got a couple guys from West Virginia I, I see that are possibly going to make that trip. So uh, we're going to go up there and hopefully represent for the Dub V and catch some big smallies. Are you friends with Sean Livery? I am not. Okay, go look him up. He's one of the paddle and fin guys. He lives on the Susquehanna, and uh, he fishes at all time. Um he might be able to give you some insight on any water that you you plan on hitting. Uh, okay. Great, great guy, a great guy, Sean Sean Lavery. Um, so, Mikey, your 2022 season. Uh, how many clubs did you fish with? Did you fish all three, or just the? So I fished the KBF. Okay. I fished the Appalachian Kayak Anglers Bass Series for Maryland. Uh, it's eastern part of West Virginia, Maryland. Uh, Anthony Fitzgerald and I both fished that club. Okay. Uh, and West Virginia kayak anglers, and I fished some of the Southern West Virginia kayak angler opens this year as well. Now, where you you're over in, in what county you live in? Mineral or Marion? Marion. Okay, so okay. Fairmont, West Virginia. Okay, I did. I, I knew it was in that location. But I didn't want to give out, but hey, I'm sure you're not worried about it. Uh, so this is my first. This is like my rookie year of, of trail events. I did some online events for the KBF last year, and I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Uh, I fell in love with it, fishing from a kayak. I've always loved fishing. Um, but I spread myself a little thin this year, and I think that really hurt me across the board in all my clubs. Yeah. Uh, having to miss events to fish these events and really just try to spread the wealth. But 
at the same time, I fished a lot of water in a lot of different places, and I've met a lot of great people that I call friends along the way. You, one of those, uh, Mr. Rep, and it's it's been a constant learning experience. Uh, well, I appreciate just, that, man. I appreciate that, and, and I'll tell you, um, it's been a joy to uh, got to spend some time you and your son. Uh, got to look, watch him chow down on some grub and watch the Marshall game here at the camp and uh that's that's my sidekick he's really kind of jumped into this kayak thing and he's he's done a few tournaments he's paid for some tournaments he's dabbed on his feet in some of the online stuff this year good uh and I'm trying to get him uh possibly convinced to join WVK next year and fish some trail events with us and actually compete he's there anyway might as well compete well yeah and you know what um we all we have a uh a title that he could win quite easily if he he shows up and, and is consistent and is that a, that's our youth angler of the year um, and you know uh, we we've had several young men that have won that and moved on and, and become really good anglers as adults um, great way and you know he's a good looking kid I mean big old strong kid I'm sure he he's he's a good kid yeah his strength definitely comes in handy <laughs> with my age and dragging that titan around i don't know what i'd do without him oh, so. I, know, I know exactly what you're saying there um, so so 2022 um, based off what you were just saying um one of your your failures is you spread yourself thin where do you where do you feel it and your successes was you got to get out and meet people that share your passion um, what, how, well, what else would you consider a success i, I think between focusing on on the kbf uh challenge series and uh, a lot of that's jumped around and just trying to keep up with all that's been crazy this year but uh, with AKAC being a bass series club uh, I was really kind of focused and kind of had a goal to make it to the Bassmaster Classic right uh, I've kind of switched directions here uh, as the years developed and and now that some points have come out and I realize you know I did spread myself thin that next year. I really want to devote more time to to, to you guys, to WBKA, to my home club. Uh, I feel like I would have done better in points and, and learned some more of my local home waters. And I think that's important for some of the bigger, bigger aspects of things uh, as I do my travels. And the water definitely seems to be a little tougher here than the other places that I fish. So I'm not going to spread myself so thin. I'm not going to go to uh, the Maryland Bass State Championship, even though I've made it there. Uh, I'm going to turn my focus to the best of the best, first ever best of the best state championship, and and hopefully do a, a good show out there to, to represent us. And I'm... Um, very fortunate to have to have made that roll down so next year i need to fish cleaner uh continue to learn and keep an open mind and learn and mark edwards and and mikey holcomb and storm carver have been oh my. huge yeah uh part of my i mean mark and i have talked for hours uh and i'm just trying to learn what i can buddy yeah man i hear you and you, know, you can't the, those guys that you named off, Jody Queen, you can't go wrong with the, those slate of fishermen to learn from. Um, and, you know, that's the great thing about fishing. Uh, even a, an average angler is going to teach you a technique that, like, oh, wow, I never thought about that. I may have to add that to my repertoire, you know, and something you can throw out that might, might catch a fish that could put you from 20th to 10th and in the money or in a, in a higher points bracket, you know. And kick you into an area where, like you, like it has happened for you. And congratulations for making this best of the best. Um, to be able to fish that is is something you should be proud of. Um, it, it it shows that one, you were consistent. Two, you did follow through with one of the clubs and make the top twelve, whether it's a roll down or not. Because the one thing about the West Virginia clubs is so many of of the guys fish all three. And uh, especially your very competitive guys. That's all they want to do every weekend. Um, right. But congratulations, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really tickled Thank to you. hear that. Uh, appreciate you jumping on here with me. And um, going to do an Thanks for having me, John. Hey, do, going to do an episode in two weeks if you want to jump in with me. 
Um, it's going to be uh, the Scream a Ween edition. We're going to have a group page of all kinds of anglers. If you guys got costumes, um, put them on and let, let people try to figure out who you are. And we'll talk. That sounds good, buddy. We'll talk fish. Um, but anyway, all right, take care. God bless you, brother. You too. Hey, that was Bye. Mikey. Mikey riding there. Uh, God, God bless that young man. I appreciate him jumping on with me. Um, him and his son, they're, they're top-notch people. I was really, really glad to uh, be able to interact with him this year, get to meet him, talk with him. I talked with him more online, like we all do when it comes to Facebook and our other platforms. But getting to pe meet people, which is one of the great things about going to these live events all over the nation, uh, you got to love it. Um, and John Cart is absolutely right. There is a wealth of knowledge in our club to learn from. And there's a reason why we have guys uh, like Jody Queen who travel all over the nation and do have success. Uh, like uh, the New River Tournament last month, Jody fished it. He won it. And, you know, he was like, hey, you know, it's on my home waters. I wanted to fish it. And, and then he, he came to this tournament, and he, he was telling me, Hey, I saw it pop up. I love this lake, and uh, I, I, I want to stay fresh. I want to keep my craft solid because I, I got another tournament up. So he wanted to get tuned up. Now, if you go look at Jody's stats, um, last year he fished Jackson County, and he fished finished fourth. This year he finished first. Uh, after he fished the tournament with us that he won down on the New River, he went to, I think it was a Hobie tournament, with over 100-some anglers close to 200 he finished 20th he was he was right in the money right in the thick of things so jody queen god bless you buddy and uh keep it up we, we love you um let's see we've been on almost 50 minutes so i guess we're we'll going to sign off i want to stress to everybody uh that you guys check our schedule out i'm going to tell you right now April 22nd, 23rd, Paddle and Finn, Del Hollow, for a week. You got it. You need to go. It's you know. It, it, so it, there is a two-day tournament, so you can take make it as a tournament trip and try to win some money, but also take it as a time to get away, start your season, get everything broke in before we start our uh, our tournament season in West Virginia, or or, or get, get get the major part of it kicked in. So. Um, then uh, Greg will tell you, you'll, you pay attention to Greg and the guys, there's going to be another Lake Erie trip, and you uh, might want to get your hat in that, in that trip. Uh, that, that was uh, probably the uh, – all three of those trips that I did from April to July were the highlight of my year. Um, I had, you know, had a great time doing those. Um, so I look forward to 2023 and, and duplicating those because definitely going to happen. I'm definitely going to go to Paddle and Finn in April. I'm going to go back to Erie at the end of May, and I'm going to ICAST again in July. So if it's another road trip, a fishing trip, it's going to happen. And uh, look forward to everybody I cross paths with during those events. And we got WVK season coming up, so make sure you uh, join us. Watch for Greg Kupfer to make an announcement here in the next day or two. It's, it's coming. Um...